Welcome to the Vico Software ISAT presentation. In the next 10 minutes, we'll provide you with essential knowledge and important information about seismic requirements and blast protection for buildings, and the way to effectively comply with these requirements and create a safer building in an economical and efficient way. Earthquakes occur almost constantly around the world. A frightening and destructive phenomenon, earthquakes are the cause of much loss of life and severe damage to the built environment. One of the most destructive earthquakes in the recorded history of North America was the San Francisco earthquake of 1906. The earthquake and the fire that followed killed nearly 700 people and left the city in ruins. Looking at the U.S. map with an overlay of seismic zones, we can clearly see that many highly populated regions are located within the earthquake-sensitive zones. In recent years, definite progress has been made in developing techniques to design structures that will withstand the effects of earthquakes. Regulations have been passed requiring the usage of these new techniques for the reinforcement of all critical building structures. Another hazardous issue that generates a seismic effect is a bomb blast. The blast source can be a technical problem or a terrorist bomb attack. Although ostensibly different, there are some important similarities between earthquakes and blasting, particularly regarding their effects on interior building systems. Thus, some aspects of their treatment can be similar. Codes such as the International Building Code require a dedicated solution to resist seismic forces, especially regarding mission-critical facilities, such as hospitals, police stations, airports, government facilities, emergency centers, and national security buildings. These codes aim to minimize the loss of life and property damage. A crucial part of the solution and the code requirement regarding seismic forces is the development of seismic resistant bracing for MEP systems. Failures in piping systems that have led to the release of water or other fluids have been found to be the principal cause of most of the monetary damage to buildings and their contents during seismic events. Obviously, ruptures in gas pipes might have an even more disastrous impact. Typically, supports for piping, trays, and other equipment are designed for gravitational or vertical loads, but do not take into account the horizontal loading caused by earthquakes or blasts. The solution is seismic restraints, braces which resist these horizontal forces and keep the systems in place and secure. The current typical design to construction workflow to comply with code requirements consists of three steps. Brace engineering, point load analysis, and installation. This solution requires approval from the structural engineer for the precise placement of all connections between the braces and the structure. There is little flexibility to move these connection points during installation without requiring additional approval from the engineer. The new requirements have added more complexity onto an already stressed or even already failing process for the installation of building systems. Current construction practices and workflow have been found to be inadequate to support this highly accurate process. The outcome is that owners and general contractors are suffering from an insufficient, costly, and error-prone process. On the bottom line, 2 to 4% of additional costs can be related to claims, rework, and delays associated with building systems on buildings of moderate to high complexity. Analyzing current practices, we can map the most significant problems. A fragmented design process. Uncoordinated design documents. Subcontractors' workflow. Improvisation culture and schedule inefficiencies. Let's take a deeper look at these problems. The current design process is highly fragmented. Each of the trade designers is working on his design and creating drawing sets with minimal communication with other design team members. The level of detail is also not sufficient, partially due to a lack of knowledge and partially because of the trade-centric approach. 
the outcome of the fragmented design process is an uncoordinated documentation set. Each designer submits his drawings and has limited or no responsibility to ensure that they are synchronized with the rest of the design trades. As we can see, serious coordination problems are hiding in the 2D drawing set. The uncoordinated design that is short on detail is then being sent to the relevant subcontractor for further detailing and specifications. Each subcontractor communicates with the designer who is relevant to his field. After a few iterations, the design becomes more detailed and idiosyncratically coordinated. Naturally, this typical outcome is still lacking multidisciplinary coordination. When the actual construction starts, coordination issues quickly float to the surface. Solutions are provided on an ad hoc basis with a lack of an overall perspective. This improvised process breaks down in complex areas as each fix is likely to cause new problems further down the line. The result is a far from optimal, inadequate and time-consuming process. The previously described process prevents the project team from focusing on getting the optimal construction schedule. The high cost of changes forces them to work in a way in which the most expensive systems to fix go first. This, of course, is not necessarily the optimal order from the schedule optimization point of view. In short, the current process causes serious delays in the schedule, high cost overruns, and in many cases, long, tedious, and expensive lawsuits. The solution for this painful and inefficient workflow is an integrated approach in which all aspects of the design, coordination, code requirements, and layout issues are analyzed in a multidisciplinary method, resulting in a well thought out, highly accurate and optimized process. Such a holistic solution can only be provided by an experienced team with extensive knowledge and experience of design and construction processes, codes and regulations. Vico Software and ISAT have formed such a team, bringing together the knowledge base of both companies. Vico Software is a leader in integrated construction and virtual construction software and services. With over four years of experience and more than 150 projects completed, Vico Software has a proven track record of delivering results. Vico offices are spread around the globe and allow for effective services on a local basis. With a broad range of project types under their belt and with unparalleled experience in the most complex and demanding projects, ISAT is the leader in seismic bracing solutions for mechanical, electrical, plumbing, and piping systems. Working with the largest U.S. contractors, ISAT assists project teams to achieve code-compliant solutions that are both cost-effective and construction-friendly. The ISAT Design, Installation, and Inspection Manual is the most comprehensive OSHPOD pre-approval in existence. Combined with ISAT's unparalleled experience, it has proven to be the single most effective tool in streamlining the OSHPOD document review and plan approval processes. The synergetic outcome of the VICO ISAT collaboration provides an unparalleled solution under one roof. From design coordination of all building systems, through analysis, layout and installation guidelines, VICO and ISAT cover the full range of services needed to comply with code requirements in the most cost-effective and schedule-optimized way. Let's take a detailed look at the process. The workflow consists of four steps. Design coordination, seismic bracing and hangar engineering, subcontractors optimization, and layout and installation. Let's take an in-depth look. Obviously, the whole system fails if the MEP systems are not fully coordinated. So the goal of the first step is to synchronize the different trades designs. 
using virtual construction technology, a 3D model which contains the designed building structure and building systems is created, clearly revealing coordination problems. A fully coordinated design is then achieved by resolving each of the coordination issues. For an efficient process, the work is done according to a unique system priority structure concept. Using this concept, the main and most important parts of each system are coordinated and locked into their final positions. Then the second level systems and subsystems are coordinated. This process continues until the design is fully coordinated and a set of design documents is generated. Working on a coordinated set of documents and with a fully coordinated model, the ISAT team designs the bracing system. Now, when everything is coordinated, it is possible to accurately locate the precise points in which to place the connections in the structure. When the bracing design is finished, a point load document is generated from the model. This document is then delivered to the structural engineer for approval and bracing documents are added to the coordination set. The fully detailed and coordinated set of documents is then sent to the subcontractor. The subcontractors receive the documents and after reviewing the proposed design, they suggest cost-saving changes optimized for their processes. The requested changes are delivered back to the VCO ISAT team. After analyzing the data, the updates are coordinated with the model and an optimized set of documents is generated. A location-based package, including the final coordinated drawings, bracing drawings, and location-based bracing buckets is sent to the subcontractors. Based on the model and documents, subcontractors can now start the installation according to the provided design. Since the code requires all concrete on the bottom of the slabs, beams, or other concrete elements to be treated as cracked concrete, special connections designed for cracked concrete must be used. Drilling and inserting connections for cracked concrete is far more difficult than for standard connections. Concrete embeds placed prior to pouring the concrete are a better solution, but finding the correct position in which to place the embeds on the formwork is difficult. VICO and ISAT solve this problem by extracting all the embed placement points from the model and loading them into a total station. The total station will be used by the subcontractors to precisely position all the embeds into the formwork prior to pour. Based on the precise coordination and accurate location provided by VICO and ISAT, subcontractors can use embedded connections and avoid an otherwise tedious, time-consuming and error-prone process. After pouring the concrete and letting it thoroughly cure, bracing can be easily installed in its design position and MEP systems can be quickly installed. The VICO ISAT Integrated System for Coordination and Seismic Bracing Engineering provides you with a clear and highly accurate workflow. This workflow allows for extensive prefabrication work with little or no field rework. The integrated supply with location-based material delivery, together with the layout instructions and clear documentation, ease the actual installation process and accelerate the work. Working with the VICO ISAT system, the bottom line benefits are significant cost savings, reduced probability that the facility will open late, and accurate as-built drawings and models. For more information about the VICO ISAT solution, please contact our nearest office.